one of the questions that comes up is what can people expect from the foundation routine? And I'm going to be honest with you right off the bat. You can expect a lot of pain. <laughs> I mean, I'm, there's no way to get around it. You're going to feel some significant muscle soreness. But what goes along with that pain is some incredible results. And what we want to teach you is to turn pain into gain. So get inside these things, you'll notice all of a sudden at the first time you'll be struggling to get through a first few workouts. But as you progress through the, through the training in the coming months, you'll be running into your workouts and handling volumes and levels of intensity that you never thought was possible. And so that's the, that's the real benefit of sticking with this routine and going through those pain zones and breaking the pain barrier and learning to develop the type of intensity that every champion needs in order to build the kind of physique that you've always dreamed of. And that's what foundation training is all about. All right, we're back on the same machine. We're gonna hit the lats a little on the lower side, get a bigger stretch, taking the grip. Close in reverse. Okay, you'll see if there's a now. I'm still working left, but I've changed my grip so my biceps don't fail because my biceps have been getting a lot of work from all this back This is part of the reason why we do exercise in the morning. That's, that's one dimension of training that uh, really almost nobody talks about or knows about. And I learned that from you. Just. Um, how important is the entire sequence of exercises is. You know, just uh, which ones you do first, which ones you do in the middle, which ones you do last. There's Absolutely. a huge difference. You know? Absolutely. I think one of the guys that really decoded that better than anybody was Scott Abel. I trained under Scott for many years and we still communicate regularly and talk about training ideas and nutrition ideas and stuff like that because, you know, he really... He took the science, he, you know, he decoded the innervation sequences, you know, with his innervation training. And he developed a lot of the protocols that exercise is built. They're not just a random bunch of exercises thrown in sequence, you know, oh, let's do this, 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 and this. There's a rhyme or reason to exactly why you're doing this set, this exercise in that sequence. Right, so it might look like when you look at a program as a beginner or as an intermediate, you might look at a program and say, oh, it's just a couple sets of this or that. But in actuality, there's a lot of science that goes in behind how this routine was actually created so and and then if you look at the uh, entire program from week to week it even goes to another level that most people aren't aware of absolutely so the, the point of the matter is is with the with the mastery course i mean you can eat the fruit now study the roots later <laughs> or, 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 or even never out. study the roots just enjoy the fruits you know exactly <laughs> we're on and you'll notice this maybe in some of the tapes is as we get further along in the routine that then the desire to speak <laughs> starts to diminish that means you're getting more internal you're getting more into the zone of, of focus and so for me I want to get inside this even deeper <laughs> you know that's the, the default patterns is like you know like, let's shut the camera off and get into it but that's not gonna help you so we're gonna stay with it for you guys but in your own workouts and if you're training with a partner you know, I train for partners for lots of years, and when you get a good partner, it's almost silent communication. It's just like, okay, 10 pounds on each side, whatever. You know, there's very little communication that's going on between you. It's nonverbal, so you're not distracting the guy. It's like, don't get into this yelling at the guy when he's doing his routine. A quiet emphasis is a better way to be a partner. It's like, okay, come on, buddy, one more. You know, whatever it is that's going to resonate with the person you're training with. I think when you're looking at legs, I mean, I'd be crazy if I didn't mention Tom Platts. I think Tom Platts, in my opinion, has taken the leg development to the ultimate level. Uh, he really changed what leg development was about. Uh, he might have got a little crazy with a little bit too much sweet, so I like a little bit less sweet than Tom the, that Tom went for, so it doesn't overpower the physique, but it's very obvious that you have a nice sweep to the quads, definite teardrop, excellent separation with the cross striations and everything 
and that smaller butt. In other words, you don't have a great big butt to go with your quads. And that to me is the ideal leg development. You know what I find uh, is really effective for me, or uh, I find effective for my partners is I'm doing the set with him. Like I, I'm really following along where he's at. If he's tired, I, I want to feel that tiredness in my own mind, and you know try to give him as much energy as, as I can. And like you said, you don't need to scream. Just some drive. You know, come on, and, and just really feel where he's at. Uh, it's very powerful. That's a great point, Matt. And it's about being with your workout partner and his. And so as you bring the intensity up, he brings the intensity up. And then it goes vice versa. And so you're fueling each other, willing each other. It's kind of like watching a race, you know, where the runners are running at the end of the thing. And the crowd is willing them to go faster. And there's an energetic transfer that may not be apparent on the surface, but every athlete has felt that experience of, of feeling that energy. And, you know, everyone will get a resonance with a good partner. Arnold talks about it in his books, about how important it is with, you know, when he wanted to beat Serge Oliveira in 1969, he had lost. And he, he told Joe Weider, he, I need Franco to come over here to, to help push me to the level that I need to go. And so I think that, that scene or that sequence in Arnold's life really illustrated the importance of a really great partner. So if you can get out there and get one, I mean, that's awesome, you know? One of the things you might want to do is partner up with a friend, you know, and, 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 and share your education, you know, and, and, and you know, you both get a, the, the workout together and then you can buy one part and he buys another part and you share it, you know, so one of the things that I used to do. <coughs> I personally brought my best friend in the gym and he was uh, 391 pounds. <coughs> And he lost 191 pounds in 18 months, and he hasn't looked back since. So, you know, you can really make a positive impact on people's lives that aren't working out, too. Absolutely. And bring so, them in the game. And it, and it, it just transfers and builds uh, as you learn how to give. You know, it's a big aspect of who we are as people. And learning to give, you actually get a lot more back. So, we're going to get on and start giving some more herself in the next exercise sequence. So, we're going to see you in just a moment. We're going to go get set up. So, stay tuned for get some more big mass secrets. One of the questions that comes up with foundation training is what is the perfect pace? And in this routine, the pace is significantly slower than any of the other routines and I'm going to explain to you why. When you're pushing deep into the range of success on these exercises, you're going to find a significant oxygen depth. Also, we'll be doing exercises where you're hitting repeatedly over and over and over maybe the same exercise for an incredible amount of volume. As you push deeper into the oxygen depth levels, you're going to find that you need to bring up your workout level to a, a pace that you may need as much as 5 minutes or even 10 minutes if you're pushing your legs to the max. So the important part here is the recovery between sets as fast as possible with getting oxygen but not going at a pace that's uh, say super setting or in a, uh, another format of straight sets. This is about pushing each set deep into the growth zone. one of my favorites, it's a straight arm pull down. This is an exercise that's really uh, misunderstood by most people, especially if you're doing a foundation program, where we're lightening up the weight. We're not actually using that much weight, but with all the rowing moments, movements and stuff, we really cramped up a lot here in our upper back and stuff. We want to rotate the scalpula so that we're stretching out all the knots so we're not all hunched over like these guys that are like this, right? So this is a very important part and also it helps finish off the lats, finish off the movement and it gets a stretch part because we've been doing a lot of stuff where it's really tight. Look, like Wade's arms have a slight bend in the elbow, just slight. His back is arched as always, stick out your bum. He hops with the arch, and then he uh, pulls his shoulder blade back on the bottom. It's almost like there's a little rocking motion to it. 
And, and this what to do when every time we're finishing, I call this like a nice finishing exercise. It's a nice pumping fluid motion. So never use a weight that's so heavy that you're trying to, you know, you're not, uh, no, you don't want to get in that zone. Smooth. Again, watch pumping iron. Watch the way Arnold trains. It's so smooth. It's so fluid as you just, you know, you just get a nice rhythmic motion. Vince Garanda talks about that in, in his uh, books like The Wild Physique and that sort of thing. You know, the Cadence of Champions. You know, how it's just like a dance. Mohammed McAway, probably the master of just body awareness. Plus, you, you already did the explosive stuff, and uh, I think that when you're doing the constant tension exercises, you're really hitting the muscle on a different level, and hitting different fibers and getting a different result. So yeah. it's the totality of it. Absolutely, yeah. You want to bump that time under tension, so so different fibers get activated.